breaking new information tonight in yesterday's deadly shooting that killed a woman and wounded a Shreveport police officer. Police Chief Alan Crump called a morning news conference to share the latest information about the standoff in Shreveport's Caddo Heights neighborhood. Police identified the alleged gunman as 36-year-old Jonathan Robinson. He's now charged with second-degree murder in the shooting death of Renita Williams. Police also addressed a live stream clip on Facebook during the deadly standoff. I could tell the females that loved us and hurt. And in situations like this, it's really not love. It should be shaking and awakening for our community that we have work to do. Right now, Louisiana is third in the nation of domestic violence fatalities. For more information on Project Celebration and other resources for domestic violence victims, just call the number right there on your screen, 318-256-6242. Again, 256-6242. Well, since all of this happened, we've been digging deeper into the criminal past of the suspect, Jonathan Robinson. Our chief investigative reporter, Stacey Cameron, shows us what he's uncovered. In an ongoing murder investigation, we may try uh, to answer as uh, uh, many questions as we can. Where the suspect, Jonathan Robinson, is already in custody after allegedly killing Renita Williams and wounding a Shreveport police officer. He's in jail for murder, second degree murder, and convicted felon in possession of a firearm. KSLA investigates is learning more about 36-year-old Jonathan Robinson, a man who, according to court documents, has a long arrest record. KSLA uncovered documents showing police taking Robinson into custody 12 times over the past 19 years. And despite a growing rap sheet, these papers show him serving very little time in prison. For example, Robinson was twice arrested for murder, a first-degree murder charge in 2000 that was dismissed, and a second-degree murder charge in 2005. In that case, Robinson pleaded guilty to aggravated second degree battery and sentenced to seven years hard labor. This happening. There's been a lot of people come and go since I first started. While Paul Carmouche served as Caddo Parish District Attorney. Oh gosh, oh gosh. During Charles Scott's time as DA, Robinson was arrested twice on drug charges. And since James Stewart took over the DA's office. It's a lot different than what we do. Robinson has been arrested three more times. And this 2015 case where Robinson was accused of domestic abuse, false imprisonment, simple battery, and resisting arrest. Police records state that Robinson ran the female victim off the road in a car, hit her in the face, then used the woman as a shield when police tried arresting him. He pleaded guilty to two counts of domestic abuse battery in that case back in 2016, getting a year in prison, but that sentence was suspended with probation. Now, just 16 months later, Robinson is back here behind bars in Caddo Parish. Here, I have a warrant from Robinson's last run in with the law before yesterday's tragic murder in Caddo Heights. This is from June 2016. It shows Robinson being charged with armed robbery, and according to documents, he robbed a man in a car and had an SK-47 in his possession. But like so many criminal cases against Robinson, the charges in this one were dismissed as well by prosecutors. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Stacy Cameron. And today's news conference interrupted part of the young